Greeting St. Mark's Church family and friends. I uh, would like for us to just think together a little bit today about Psalm 126. And let me read it. When the Lord brought back the captive ones of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with joyful shouting. They said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap with joyful shouting. He who goes to and fro weeping, carrying his bag of seed, shall indeed come again with a shout of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. This psalm was written as the uh, celebration of the end of the captivity for Israel. They had been 70 years in exile, and they come home. Uh, they've been set free. Their other nations notice that God has set them free and, and uh, acknowledge that, and they, they come home with laughter and joy and giving thanks to God. Uh, they recognize God has done great things, and they say, restore our captivity, O Lord. What they're saying is, Lord, Make us faithful to you again. Help us to be faithful to you. But they came home with a lot to do, and there was a lot to, to sow, and uh, their feeling was that God was going to help them. He wasn't going to just stop it, sending them back. He was going to provide new opportunities and leadership and blessings on them. So they say, you know, even though we've got work to do and, and things are going to still be hard, it, it, and we may weep a little bit, we'll still harvest because of God's care and love. So uh, I, I think that applies and, and speaks to us. We, we had hoped 2021 would be a kind of a new beginning. Well, I think it will be, but it's going to be a while and work to do before we get there. Uh, the isolation and pandemic and you know, trying to quarantine when we need to and yet uh, share together and worship together is not an easy thing. Uh, it takes a lot of work. I, I doubt few of us really understand how much work it takes to record a service and make it available for us. But we need to kind of appreciate those things a little bit and recognize that we've got a blessing of people who can do that people who can record and edit and, and present the worship service. Uh, we also need to remember that it's good to just share together in those moments, that we are a congregation, we're concerned for each other and about each other, and we need to keep that going. So there are a lot of things to do in new ways or to find new ways to do things, and we need to work together to do that. Uh, God will take care and bless us and guide us along the way, but we have an effort to make as well. Pray with me. Lord, we thank you for those people who use their talents to record our worship and record our getting together as a church family and make them available to all of us via video. We are thankful for them and we are thankful that we can come together in these ways in the instance when so many people can't come together. Help us to remember each other, to pray for each other, to celebrate each other in worship and in other ways together. We ask this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.